And welcome back to Sock TV, guys. Mark here once again playing Ark on the Ragnarok map. So we uh, left last time. We just finished building our house, which we're standing on now, in a rather beautiful location, if I don't say so myself. Um, just listen to that that lovely running water that's going to make you want to get up two, three times a night to have a slash. Fantastic. Um, I think what the plan for today will be is I have uh, spent a little bit of time sort of off camera. We you know, place some of the stuff we built, like the refining forge and the preserving bin and some more chests, just sort of you know simple stuff. Um, but obviously, I wanted to get some little bit of metal and stuff like that. So I had a little scout around the area just to see what was near us, and um, we found some cool stuff. So I think we're hello. <laughs> I think we're going to go uh, and check some of that out now, so we can show you what uh, what we found. We jump on Tony. So, uh, where should we start? Let's start with Death Valley. So as we fly towards this sort of mountainous, scorched, volcanic kind of area, we should get some popping at the moment. Yeah. Oh. Pop in, pop out. Which, which one do? You? There we go. So we've got some wibbly wyverns. Yeah, might actually catch one in a minute with the spyglass. Uh, so yeah, that's like new. There's so many and we couldn't see any with the spyglass. Oh, there we go. Uh, the spyglass is new. We managed to find a little bit of crystal. I mean, how cool do they look? But they also look really, really mean. Um, and we're nowhere near the right level to start messing with any of those, let alone, you know, what? There's a good six on screen and probably like another six died around somewhere. Um, so that's something to come back to. We also found um, some metal over here somewhere. A little vein of metal. I think it was just on top of this. Yeah, this looks about right. Um, so you know a little bit there, not not too much, but I think there's probably more than one of these dotted around uh, this kind of area. So it's nice to have some pretty close to home. Uh, the other thing we found, which was quite interesting, and potentially, I mean, if we'd seen it, it's just the other side of this thing. If we'd seen it before we chose our base location, it it could have been on the shortlist. Uh, probably quite a good contender for a base location. The only problem with it is there isn't really any wood near it. Um, so that probably would have let it down a little bit. But it is just over here somewhere, I believe. I'm actually going to stop and have a check out that drop wire over anyway. Not bad for once. Uh, where's it gone? Ah, oh, maybe it was just the other side of this rock. I remember it being to this side of the of the rocks there. You have to bear with me on this one. We will find it again, I'm sure. I don't think it was this far over. Ah, yes, it was. There we go. So, it's, it's basically like an old farmer's field. Um, it's a bit random. It's a bit strange. You know, you can imagine building a house sort of next to this. Maybe, maybe over this side. I think we can um, get rid of these little sort of rubble piles with the standard kind of tools, but yeah, be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the only it's just not really near too much, is it? I don't think it's really that close to water or anything. Ah, uh, oh. saying that, looks like there is a well over here. 
and I'm pretty sure you can use the Scorch Earth stuff. So yeah, we could have made a well there, maybe, stuff like that. But I think what we're interested in it today, or interested it in it, <laughs> what we're going to do today with it, that will do, um, is it has all sort of different types of crops um, all ready to go. So like there, see we, we picked up some, some rock carrot. Uh, I just don't. I don't think we can actually plant any more stuff here. I'm not sure if that's right or not. I think it's something I need to look into. But uh, we're going to pick up a couple of those because what I want to do in today's episode is get ourselves a horse, and then potentially build like a little stables or something for the horse to to go into. So that's why I wanted to grab the rock carrot there, and uh, also you know the spyglass is going to help us sort of pick which one we, we want to tame to start with so um, let's try and find them again as with everything on arc it's probably going to be quite elusive now we actually want to tame one whereas before we could we could see a million of them running around I wish there were zoom levels on the spyglass as well I, really, I, I do quite want an Anasaurus at some point as well. I think they're pretty cool. They're a good sort of medium sized, pretty fast, pretty vicious uh, kind of dinosaur. So, yeah, we'll have to try and isolate one later on and, and grab that. I think they're usually down here when they the, the horses. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a couple dotted around here. So. Let's have a quick look. It's a male, only level five. And a female level four. Maybe we've got the levels turned down a little bit. Because uh, they're both quite low level, aren't they? This matey boy in the background there. Female level four. So, okay, let's go for this level five dude. You gonna be new best friend, huh, buddy? You wanna come with me? That's all right. Oh, he got spooked. So let's put the carrot in our last lot of the inventory. Oh. There we go. Uh, I wonder how far he ran off to. Don't be scared, mate. It's okay. We're all buddies. Oh, there's a couple more. So what are you, then? Ah, oh, you'll do. Oh. Oh, just we're about to do it. He ran off. Uh, they're pretty jumpy, aren't they? I mean, I think a ghillie suit would probably help, but um, pretty confident we can do it without if we get it right, anyway. So, I think the, the hassle of making a ghillie suit is probably going to be a bit over the top. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do for now as well. We'll kind of give up checking the level. And we'll just try and get what we can the first time around. And there we go. <laughs> Easy as that. Um, so what are we going to... I think that was a female, wasn't it? What are we going to call her? Um, shall we call her... I don't know, actually. We might have to come back to the name in a bit. Uh, I'll have a think. So I don't think we need a saddle to ride. Um, level 41, eh? Is that because... We... Um, effects we like perfect tamed it, maybe? We didn't check the level beforehand did we, with this one, but it wouldn't have been... A particularly high one with everything else around was like four or five. So anyway, health is uh, six twenty-four. 
Stamina is 728. Uh, oxygen and food, who really gives a damn. Uh, 378 weight is going to be quite useful. Especially doing like the metal runs and stuff. Uh, it's already had his first poop. That's nice. Thanks for that. And gone up a level pooping. It's always good to level up when you're having a poo. Um, melee damage, 147. Meh. Movement speed, 120. I think we'll bump up. Let's get the weight up to near 400 there to start with. We'll probably leave it around there. Um... The other good thing with the horses is they have uh, like a secondary attack which does torpor damage. So you can actually knock something out by kicking it with the horse, which is always good. Um, we want to change that to passive, don't we, for now? That's cool. So you're going to follow us home. Uh, we better get home now, it's getting dark. So big homes up this way, isn't it? My famous sense of direction. There we go, horses following. What are we going to call the horse then? Um If I was a female horse, what would I want to be called? Oh, come on down. Every time, Tony. Every time. Hey, here she comes. You were a female, weren't you? Yes. Um, let's get you to stop quickly. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. So that's the tall pull kick there, look, so you're going, uh, well, you put what you want to knock out behind you. <coughs> Very nice. Oh, it's also got a bite. So we'll probably build you a little stables, I think. Girl, we, uh, why don't we build you the stables? And to the side would be nice, I'd maybe, around the back, I don't know. We don't want to get too close to the house at any point in case we want to expand that out. Um, we've also got to think at some point about building some sort of pen for everything um, as the sort of land dinos grow. what we'll do for now is we will wait until it's daylight uh, you can you can sleep on the porch tonight whilst we think of a name for you oh <laughs> god you got a big jump on me We'll leave you there for, for the night, I think. We're well, going to think of a name for you. We're going to wait till morning and then, hello, you weird looking goaty donkey thing. God, you're weird looking from that angle. Uh, and then we will be right back. Okay, we're back then on a beautiful arc morning. Um, I think what we're going to have a look at anyway is we'll try and build a saddle for our horse. Um, we just unlocked it. Oh, I've got this annoying bug where it's the same thing that happened with the Morton Pestle before. And even though we've moved it and dropped it again, I now can't, I can't navigate this menu with the gamepad. You know, it's mouse only all of a sudden. Um, which is pretty annoying, really. Um, I mean, it's obviously easier with the mouse, you know, you can do a bit more with it, but sometimes it's nice just to not have to bother switching between the two, but there you go. So we're going to need a lot more hide. Stone's easy enough to get. Um, so we should go out 
on some killing, I think. I also need to name the horse. I've been having a little think, and I think I know what we're going to go with. Lasagna. So, <laughs> those of you that are not from the UK, um, obviously I'm from the UK. Salt TV is from the UK. Uh, there was a bit of a scandal uh, in the UK, one of the big supermarkets over here, a little while ago now, where they found that their beef lasagna wasn't 100% beef. They were actually using some horse meat in it. So I think that's quite a fitting name, really, for the for our little horse friend, lasagna, or lasagna, depending on your outlook in life. Um, so yeah, we need to do a little bit of killing then, unfortunately. We'll probably take uh, Tony to do that, just to get around a bit easier. Probably also going to want some metal and stuff at some point. It'd be nice to start making some be better weapons. I mean, we, we found a pike and we got a metal pickaxe, uh, but we still need a metal hatchet, a crossbow would be good. Um, I quite like a sword, but I suppose it's, if we've got the pike, it's not the top of the list. Uh, and we also need some some firearms. And, um, some guns would be good. Let's. Here's going to be a good place for lots of. Let's go down to the beach. It's a really nice looking area around here. Yeah, I do. I think we chose the right place to to set up home, even if it is a little bit hilly where we are. But still, um, let's see what we can find. Those Allosaurus again. Is there only two of them now? I thought they had to be three, otherwise one of them didn't get the alpha boost. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if we can take one down. There's three more over yonder. Let's leave those guys alone for the time being, I think. Oh, that's a cool bridge. further away than I thought the beach. I thought a bit closer than this, but oh well. Uh, we're going to need a lawnmower at some point as well. I would prefer something a bit faster than a trike. But I suppose they have their uses. Where are all the dinos? Get ourselves a parasaur, I guess. You're quite a cool colour parasaur as well, aren't you? What level are you, fella? A male level 11. Yes, I think we will do that. Um, we've still got our club, actually. That will. Hello. What was that? We're going to be friends. Yes, we are. After I clubbed you around the face several times. Oh, no. Uh, okay, we'll have to swap to train carries in. Yeah, I'm gonna waste some train carries on it. Oh, that was the wrong button. To the face. There we go. Let's swap those arrows out so we don't waste any more. And we are gonna need some berries for you, aren't we? Luckily, there's some rather handy bushes. So let's get some berries in your bellies. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, we leave him doing that. We have got the tame speed turned up quite uh, high, the multiplier, on the SOG TV server. So hopefully he won't take too long. While he's doing that, let's get ourselves some hide. Uh, as a byproduct, we'll also get ourselves some good meat as well, which is always nice to have, isn't it? Bit of home cooked meat. I think we might have to put a fireplace in as well. Obviously, not on the beach back home. <laughs> It'd be a bit stupid just building a random fireplace. Oh, it's all kicking off over here, look. Oh, hello. Oh, I hate these little pegos. Oh, not now, guys. Come on. I mean, what kind of Pego is interested in Trank Arrows? What's he going to use them for? Alright, guys. God. Gang up on me, why don't you? More arrows as well. This way, clever girl. Oh, come on! Oh, I was nowhere near you. You birds, you really annoy me. <laughs> it's like a balloon that lost all its air. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh. If ever there was an advert for an early access game, that was it, I think. So I feel that's a fairly successful so far. Um, what do we need to repair our bow then? We need a bit more wood, unsurprisingly enough. Let's see, we should find some just lying around the beach, shouldn't we? There we go. Uh, oh, but we've taken that out of the slot now. There we go. Happy days. Right then, let's get back. Hang on, what the hell is that? Is that just a dead whale? The hell? Okay, it's a bit weird. What are you running from, mate? And there we go, parasol is up, that's good. Um, you might as well follow us for now, we're gonna go and check out what is going on with this whale. Better clear the path though. Ah, yeah, you might as well have some meat as well. So, yeah, that is basically just a. Is that an overwrap? So, what are you running from, guys? 
Oh, it's just a dead whale. We've got their spoiled meat, keratin and hide. That's pretty cool. Is it different if we use pick? bit of oil, that'd be good. Oh my god, all the spoiled meat. I kind of want to just leave that alone now, I think. Um, just in case we can use it all. But we're getting, we were getting a lot out of that, weren't we? What is, like, it's so random. Hmm. Okay. So, I think we'll go take the parasol back home quickly. We will build a saddle for it, and we'll probably, um, where's it gone? Uh, then we'll probably do a bit of berry collecting. Now we've got all this spoiled meat. Uh, we'll make up some narcotics. Get some, why did you go the long way around? Uh, make some more trank arrows and normal arrows, I think, as well. So we will attempt to get this parasol home safely uh, which is probably going to be this way is quickest and then we will be obby okay and we're back uh, we just put some of that meat on the fire as well as doing a few other bits uh, we've got a little bit of jerky already made up Oops. In oh, it's in there um yeah let's leave that in there so yeah we've got a bit of jerky made up there we're going to make some more once we've got some spare but we actually need some food ourselves so we've got quite a lot of spoiled meat now we just made up a saddle uh we'll keep that meat on us just in case but we need some berries we need some narcos so we're gonna pop the saddle oh excuse me pop the saddle on old unnamed matey boy over here level 16 parasite um, I don't think we'll go over the stats I mean they're there on screen if you want to want to look at them but I imagine we're going to want a bit more stamina a bit more movement speed um, yeah you're literally just a lawnmower bud I'm, I'm not too bothered about what we spend your points on uh, I don't really want you attacking my target though uh, oh you nearly got neutered imagine that uh, behavior, that's the one. Let's put you on aggressive. You don't really need to follow us anymore either. No, you're not following us anymore, okay. Uh, so let's gather up some berries. Berry, berry, berries. What I'd quite like to get done. Oh, you're following Tony, that's why. What I would quite like to get done uh, is get some um, some narcotic made up so we can make some narco arrows uh, and then the next episode I think we're going to go off and try and tame uh, an Argentavis, an eagle because I like them basically and they're pretty useful we can bump one up so we can carry a lot of weight and that'll be good when we do our metal runs um, yeah I just think it's pretty cool to have an eagle sat on top of the house as well so that's what we're going to aim for but in order to do that we need to make quite a lot of we need quite a lot of narco berries uh, which is where you come in so we also need a name for you as well I can't keep calling you you or it or parasol uh, we had Peter and Polly before um, did we check where your you are male. I think we will call you Paolo. Hey, ciao, Paolo. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Just a berry machine, aren't we? Street grass? No, obviously not. Okay. So 
the red flares. Oh, lovely. So let's get back quickly and see how many. We're going to use the bridge even though we don't need to because it's cool. You're, I think you're stuck there, aren't you? We might try and tame you at some point if you hang around. Um, I am starting to feel as if we might have to build a, a small pen of some sort soon. Uh, I will take some meadows out, but you can have those back in a minute. Take the flowers. I don't know what I'm bothered about right now, to be honest with you. We could go with some seeds and stuff, but I'm just not fussed, so. Drop all that for us. You can have the narcos back because you've been a good boy. You're a bit slow, so we bump your movement speed up. Hopefully, you should stay there. Need to make another Morton Pestle, really, as well, so we can dub double the speed up, split this stuff down. Might as well make that while we get this loaded up. 35, yeah, that's not bad. That will take us up to 66. Um, but we're also going to need to build some more. Oh, I hate that navigation. We also have to build some more arrows, won't we? Which we're going to need uh, fibre, flint, and thatch. We've got a little bit of thatch in here. We've got quite a lot of fibre. Just going to spare there. We'll take that flint. Out of there. And the bug strikes again. So yeah, 50 of those, that leaves us some spare as well. Good stuff, okay. Well, we'll leave that cracking on. Um, like I said, I think we will make up some um, trank arrows. And then in the next episode, we will go and find ourselves an Argentavis probably have to tame it just on normal meat unless we get lucky and we find something nearby to kill that gives us prime I'm not sure what it's like with jerky maybe we'll take one or two with us perhaps and see how that works out I could always check the dodo decks I guess see what that says um, dodo decks if you don't know is just a really useful little you know online um, it's like a taming calculator is what I use it for so you can put in the level of you know whatever dinosaur you're taming it will tell you timers and um, preferred food and stuff like that and you can you know add in your particular like server or games uh, like taming multiplier and it will give you quite accurate times for how long it's going to take to tame stuff like that so anyway little tip for you there um, if you haven't already please remember to subscribe to Sog TV for more great content if you've liked this video please leave us a thumbs up uh, been really good hanging out with you guys today thanks for coming to spend a bit of time with us we hope to see you again soon um in the wonderful world of art <laughs>